case for three of the presentations. Um, Yuta Sawabe and uh, Ryuchi Tanabe today from Japan. Um, so to be precise in Japan uh, today, the situation is that uh, in practice, it's very difficult to travel. Uh, you have a seven days uh, lockdown when you come back, etc. cetera. So uh, it's, uh, it was impossible for their company to authorize them to leave. Um, so they uh, recorded their presentation. Uh, and we have two other talks like this, uh, one this afternoon and one tomorrow morning. Uh, for the talk this morning, uh, there will be no uh, interaction with the speakers because they cannot connect with us uh, today. Uh, but for the presentation this afternoon uh, and tomorrow morning, uh, you, we will have a Zoom uh, connection with the, the speakers uh, to, to be able to ask questions. So please bear with us. This is just a recording, but uh, it's, uh, it's the best way we, we found to, uh, uh, to be sure that, that you get all the, all the presentations. So hope, hoping that it's okay. I'm going to launch it. And um, so uh, uh, Silent Night, uh, it's the, the new name of Z-Loader uh, so for a number of times, uh, for a number of years actually, and, uh, it, and they've been studying it for some time since the end of uh, 2019 and they wanted to uh, share their work with us. Hello everyone. We are MTT Security Holdings. Today, we are going to talk about our system and case studies. The target malware is Zloader. This is our motivation and goal. Our motivation is to track Zloader's C2 servers. However, tracking the C2 servers it's challenging because Zloader uses domain generation algorithm called uh, DCA. To accomplish it, we constructed a system and we observed data from this system. First, this system collects Zloader samples and their base configs. Then, it tracks the C2 servers and collects information from the servers. Finally, we analyzed the data and generated threat intelligence. We are going to introduce the case studies in this presentation later and then discuss the result. Before explaining about our system, we introduce about Silent Night. Silent Night is a new variant of Zloader. Zloader is a module banking trojan from this family. And uh, Silent Night is a final phase malware by Explicate, fake software, malware, mal spam, and so on. It has been used some DAC campaigns to, to communicate its C2 servers. This malware uses hard-coded URLs in its base config. And also, it uses DGA, Domain Generation Algorithm, to connect the C2 servers. The loader calculates the DJ domains with the RC4 key and the base config. This table <coughs> shows the contents of base config. As you can see here, it contains C2 servers URL and an RC4 key to generate DJ domain. In the next slide, we talk about C2 server. These are the contents of the Zloader's C2 domain server. But in this presentation, we focus on the three contents, cp.php, 
a.php and logs directly. First, cp.php is a login page to access the control panel. Next, gate.php is a file for the bots to start and logs directory. There are logs about the control panel. For this study, we used av.log to check the trend of the attack cases. This AV log contains information about infected hosts, as shown here. And from here, we are going to explain about our system. This is our this is our systems overview. First, collect malware samples from the sample sharing sites shown here. Next, extract base config using the online sandbox service here. Then, calculate the DGA domains using RC4 key from extracted base config. And finally, collect the log from running C2 servers here. Our system collects C loader samples from these sites. Here, Aristotle, Eniram, and Triage. The system searches for the latest smaller samples based on the tags Z loader. After collecting samples, after collecting the samples, our system will extract the base configs using the online sandbox site. Our system uses triage because triage provides a service to extract config files when you upload malware samples. The extraction will be completed automatically and extracted base config is like this. As you can see here, this config has the C2 server's URL here and an RC4 key value here. The next step, we're going to use the RC4 key from the base config. Uh, after extracting base config value, values, our system calculates the Zloader's DGA domains. The domain generation algorithm has four characteristics. First, input values are date and an RC4 key. Second, generate 32 domains per these inputs. Third, using randomized 20 characters alphabet string for the domains. And top level domain is .com. Then after calculating the domain, our system collects the log from the running C2 servers. So from here, we are going to talk about the data results created by our system. We analyzed the 453 samples and extracted 22 RC4 keys from these samples. Now we will observe the number of infection and infection rates by country for six months since 
first uh, March 2021. Um, the graph on the left shows the number of infected hosts. As you can see here, the number intentionally increased in September here. In the same period, a new attack chain to infect the loader by a fake software was reported. So we assume we assume that this new attack chain affects the number of infected hosts. And the graph on the right shows the infection rates by country. Most of the infected hosts were in the US during the observation period. However, according to the results, we observed that the infected hosts, some infected hosts were from other countries. And from here, we are going to introduce case studies. Before that, we are going to talk about the investigation period for the case studies. We use the generated DJ domains for the case studies. And as we can, uh, and as we explained before, Zlodat's DJ domain is generated by an RC for key in a base config and a date. We use 22 extracted keys and a specific date, 30th September 2021. Uh, but we generated the DJ domains not only that date, but also before and after the investigation gate date. As shown here, we set 90 days as a, an investigation period, and we divided this period into two parts. The first part is past 60 days from the investigation date, and second part is until 30 days later from the investigation date. This is the first case study. In this case study, we are talking about the relation between threat activities and the RC4 keys. We resolved uh, the DZ domains generated by 22 RC4 keys and we found that 8 keys could generate the active DJ domains. The keys are shown on the right side of this slide. Here. Base config contains a port ID, a campaign ID, and an RC for key. So it can be said if the DZ domains generated by the RC4 key can be resolved, the attack campaign can be active. Here is the second case study. In this case study, we focused on timeline-based domain acquisition rate. In the previous slide, we said that eight keys could generate the valid digit domains. Valid means the domain could be resolved in the investigation period. We investigated if the attackers had acquired the DZ domains for the future period. The results are shown here on the right side. Here, this table. 
the acquisition rate for the future date was not so much as shown here less than 40 percent but existed as you can see here especially key a generated the domain for month for one month later this indicates that the attackers tend to get the DCA domains in advance and prepare a resolvable environment therefore resolving the DCA domain names that will be used in the future can trace the future activity of the of a particular that campaign. This is the third, third case study. As we explained before, Zloader generated 32 domains per day. If Zloader cannot connect to a generated domain, it'll generate and connect to, to another uh, domain up to the 30 second, 30 second domain. In this case study, we investigated how many domains we could resolve. As a result shown here, Here, the first, the second, and the third domains can be resolved. This means that the attackers used only a part of the generated DZ domains. And SOC and CSERT can use these results to monitor the secure servers effectively. They don't need to add all of the ZZA domains into their blacklist. Here is wrap up. Uh, today we talked about tracking Zloader, especially about its ZZA domains. We proposed a system that automatically traces the loaded C2 server. This system collects samples, analyzes their configuration data, and calculates these ZIA domains that will, be, that will be used after infection. This system can catch attacker's platform even if new zloader samples appear or c2 server's ip addresses change in addition we can check the attack trend to collect the log log files about the infected host from the attacker's servers we investigated whether the DJ domains could be resolved or not. We discussed the results showed that the acquisition rate of the domain name was biased. From these results, we discussed uh, that it is possible to predict the trend of attack campaigns and the effective way to manage blacklist. Uh, this is just additional information about Zloader. On 13th April 2022, Microsoft reported that they disrupted a Zloader botnet. So this can be a turning point for researching Zloader. brings us uh, 
to the end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention. Okay, um, I won't take any questions. Um, but actually, if you, if you put uh, questions inside the, the feedback form on the, the sked, we will forward them to uh, uh, Ryuichi and uh, Yuta, and, uh, and uh, they'll come back to you. Okay? Is that okay?